So with row-level security, what you're really trying to do is you're trying to scale out your reporting. Traditionally, if you had, say, different managers or regions where you needed to send the same report, you'd have to go and recreate the report five to ten times for each of those different uh, different areas because you didn't want to show uh, those um, those managers or those sales reps information on other regions. Now at Power BI you have this immense scale that you can bring to your analysis because you can build one really detailed report but then build a security model, a row level security model on top of it so that everything, uh, so that uh, whoever is provisioned to see certain information, that's all that they see. They don't see everything. They don't see all the um, you know, sales information that could be from a different store or from a different region, so on and so forth. So let's work through an example of how you actually set this up within Power BI. Now, the first thing uh, you've, we'll have a quick look at is the, let's, let's now have a look at the regional information in this, um, in, in this model. So this is actually a, uh, a piece of analysis on New Zealand, which is uh, where I am currently um, located. And now there is two um, sales groups within this um, within this location. So, and this is represented by the island. So we've got the North Island and we've got the South Island. And I'm just going to put total sales in there. Now, we whenever we send this out, we don't want this to actually go to both um, to both sales groups. We want to actually uh, provision the North only see the North and the South only see the South. So I'm just going to do a bit more setup here, and we'll just create some simple. Uh, visualizations uh, like so and we'll also also we might want to actually analyze uh, we might want to analyze this um, by customer so we might want to see our total sales by customer for example and then lastly we might want to look at this we might want to look at this by date so let's grab our dates send that up there get rid of this the annoying hierarchy and then we'll put this along the bottom here. Okay, so now we have we have our report, really detailed in this case, not as detailed as you can make it, but um, but at least we've got a bit of information on here now. Uh, I'm just gonna change, quickly change up the colors just to make it look a little bit more compelling. Okay, so now we need to somehow build a security model on top of here, which only allows us to see the North or the South Island. Now. Up the top of your model, you'll see the security section. And to set up the row level security, you need to go to manage roles and click on create. And then we need to um, name it something. So I'm going to call this uh, North Sales Team. And I'm going to create, uh, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to get a South Sales Team as well. Now, to isolate these particular areas, we need to find uh, the region. We need to find the column which uh, tells us if it's north or south, and that's in the regions table in this case. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to find the island, and then it says island equals value. In this case, we want to put north and south. So in this one, it's actually south. So I'll go south, and and then I've got to go back, and then just got to make sure this is right. Yep. Okay. And then for the same for north, we need we need to add a filter to the island, and on there and I'll save that and now we've done so we've added our security model on top but how do we actually view it well how do we even know we've done the right thing so what they've got here is this view as roles and so I mean remember you could actually create quite complex logic I mean you can have almost 20 different if you had 20 retail sites you could add a security model um, you know, to 20 of those stores so that's you know, just in itself is immensely scalable. But if you wanted to then view to make sure you'd set it up correctly, you go view as roles, and then you have this option where you can actually now select these uh, these the, any security module or uh, any um, filter basically on your information. So in this case, I'm going to select my North Sales team, and then I'm going to go OK. And you'll see here, and in this graphically uh, was was show, showcased on the. Uh, map here that now all of this information all of this information is filtered for that um, for the North Island for that row level security um, provision that we set up and we can just stop viewing we could also just double check the south is set up correctly so I'll click on south here 
and now that's the South Island. And so think about um, when you think about a security model, you think uh, you try uh, try to think of this is your data model, and then on top of this, on top of it, you have this security model that can place additional filters over your over your data. And <clears throat> we've just gone through a simple example, but um, you know, obviously, you could if the, if you had um, if you needed to send out reports uh, to every single retail store that or every retail. Um, sales location for example then you can very easily um, you know not have to recreate a number of different reports you can just um, you know, add to the security model and manage it manage it that way I think it's a far more effective way and considering the scalability just in general you can get with Power BI adding the security model onto that um, just gives you uh, double the power and you know double the um, efficiencies you know, far more far more efficient to actually create uh, create analysis in an, in an enterprise environment now. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.